chapter three in my book, FM to Cherish, focuses on clutter triggers, how to master your clutter triggers. And there's about five different types of reasons that we actually keep things. And one of them is a sentimental saver. So it's where you have that emotional attachment to very personal items. Let me introduce you to Tom. <laughs> this is Tom, say hi. <laughs> He's got his England t-shirt on, He's looking very smart today. So when I was about six, uh, six or seven, I went over to Ireland to see my grandma with my mum and dad and my sisters. And uh, my grandma gave us some money to go to the shops to buy a toy. So I got Tom, who is so soft and, and cuddly and adorable. Um, my elder sister, she chose a doctor set and she's actually a nurse now. Who knew? And then my other sister, she decided to get a guitar. That was a bit random. But Tom has provided comfort for me when I was young. Um, and also he came to university. <laughs> he hasn't got a degree, but he's been with me all the way. And then also he's helped to comfort my own children when they were young. Um, and upset. So Tom sits in my bedroom um, and has a very special place in my heart. And if you are keeping personal items, then it's not a problem until it becomes a problem. So let me put Tom down. Sit there, Tom. So there was a woman I was speaking to and her daughter, early 20s, had left house and this lady couldn't get her car in her garage because it was stuffed with toys, the daughter's toys. Um, so, after speaking to the lady, it was understanding why she was keeping these toys. Okay, so let the daughter come back, let the daughter go through them, decide what she wants, and then the daughter can take away what she wants, and then this lady can give the rest to charity. So, she wouldn't let the daughter near the toys because she knew that the daughter didn't actually want any of them. And she would be really upset if the daughter threw away these toys because the lady herself hadn't released that emotional attachment. So effectively, this lady was blaming the daughter and it's the daughter's mess and the daughter's toys and the daughter's not doing anything about it. However, when you look closely, it's actually this lady, the mother, who was unable to let go. She still had the memories of the toys. And um, so it's, it's how do you detach yourself from something that is emotional. It might be a large piece of furniture that you've inherited and it doesn't fit into your house. In that instance, it's taken a photo, take a photograph of the furniture and sell that piece of furniture and you then buy something else 
that's special to you that does fit in your hands. So what you're doing there is you're transferring the energy from one piece to another piece. This is what I had. I still got a photo that I can look at it and I can feel those memories. But I'm transferring that energy into something new that I really do love and I really do want and I've always wanted it. And you know, now you've been able to, to have whatever it is that it's gonna bring you joy and happiness and transfer those memories over. So that's one way to deal with it. Another way is to downsize, because if this woman had a garage full of toys, then she probably can't see what they are. You can't see what everything is. And it's about keeping maybe just that one or two special pieces and then putting them somewhere, a place for them in your home where, you know, you can go and have a hug and you can see them and you can see what happened. You have those memories of what happened. So it's reducing it down and really thinking about those memories. What's your favourite memory that belongs to that piece? What is it that's really special to you? And then that is what you keep. This reminds me of my grandma. It reminds me of that lovely holiday. Um, it reminds me how thoughtful she was. And so this is, is very special to me and also because my children have loved it as much as I've loved it, it's now got their memories attached to it. And if ever they have children, then, you know, we'll pass Tom on. Tom will go on a little journey to their children. So think about, one, can you transfer that energy onto something else? Two, can you downsize so that you're just keeping the most treasured items? and have them on display somewhere that's really personal to you, probably your bedroom or maybe your home office or somewhere that's really personal to you. And then thirdly, when you're giving these things away, you're actually bringing joy to somebody else. That is actually giving happiness to somebody else. So it's thinking, okay, so I've enjoyed this immensely and now I'm ready to give that to someone else who's gonna love it just as much. So sentimental savour is great because you have an emotional attachment, brings you happiness, joy, comfort, nurturing, all those things. However, it becomes a problem when it's a problem when you can't get your car in the garage <laughs> because there's too many soft toys. When you can't get that huge piece of furniture <laughs> into your home or you have it there, but you're just walking around it. There's no room to move. When you've cluttered up your loft and there's no space because also there's no space in your head because you know all that stuff is up there. It's the grief in that kind of situation usually where you've inherited all these things. And you, sometimes you have to give yourself time for the grief. You need to work through it. And then when you're ready, you can let go of it. So sometimes it's having that holding space. It's not a permanent space. It's a holding space whilst you're going through the grief transition. So that's the sentimental savour. If you want to read more about uh, mastering your clutter triggers and understanding what they are and how you can manage clutter and organise your home, and still have some of these precious memories. It's not about getting rid of everything. So 
it's about creating space in your home but also having precious memories and also helping you, you mentally to let go when you're ready. So chapter three, mastering your clutter triggers. Highly recommend it. Available on Amazon. Have a little read. And um, if you are struggling with clutter, then just get in touch. We can sort it out.